Hi guys, Nicole here again. I'm doing another review. Um, what I said I'd do a review on on my last video um, about plugs, and this is about a different company. Um, this is about my experience with Plug Club and getting plugs from them. Um, first off, I said it took me a month and a half to receive my plugs, which that's really slow, as you all know, and I just got them today. Um, first, I'll show you the plugs, and then I will um, tell you the story behind them. So these are the plugs. Chanel ones. And then the sparkly ones. They came in this. Plug your ears. I don't know if you can really see them. Um, I'll take them out for you. Hold on. <laughs> Funny thing, like it comes with all their like social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And part of my story is about Instagram. And it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so. These are double zeros as well, like my other one. And yeah. So, here are, these are called the, they look like they're just filled plugs. Um, nothing special, I guess. Just filled plugs, Chanel Drip logo. And here, see the back. It's like this. It looks filled in. And they're not screw on or anything, but here are the bling ones that I wanted. They're gold bling. Let's see? Um, with a screw on back. They're like the ones I have now. I just wanted another pair because um, these ones are missing the bling thing, so I wanted another pair. And I'm actually going to nail polish coat over the bling so they do not fall out again. Good lesson learned. Anyone who gets these plugs, nail polish over the crystals. Like just clear nail polish, it'll work. But yeah, these are actually smaller than the ones I have now, which is kind of disappointing. But whatever. Um, these were um, like twenty five dollars with a discount. So I mean, um, I got two pairs of plugs for that, which isn't great. I don't know. But the story behind these is actually. Um, kind of funny. I, um, you know, I was going to get my plugs, and they never sent, they sent me, like, an order confirmation, like, the day I got them, they took out the money, everything, and then I never received a shipping confirmation, I was like, hmm, that's weird, so two weeks passed by, and so I emailed them, because I was, like, really concerned, because I've never dealt with this company before, like, I don't know, they could rip me off, I don't know. Um, I'm usually very, like, comfortable dealing with companies, like, I'm, I'm naive, I guess, I don't know, but I was comfortable dealing with people, but I just got a little concerned when two weeks went by, so I emailed them, no reply, next day, no reply, so I got on their Instagram, because I followed them on Instagram, and I asked them, because I saw other people had posted comments about their orders, and they answered them politely, so I asked them on Instagram, and she replied that she emailed them, and I said, well, I already did. So I guess she looked at her email. She emailed me back. It was a nice email um, that said, like, um, your plugs will be in the beginning of next week and we'll ship them out. So, okay. The beginning of next week came by. No shipping confirmation. Um, the end of that week went by and I was like, okay, I'm going to email them again because this is really weird. So I emailed them. Nothing. The next day, nothing. So the next week, which would make it like a month since I actually ordered them, I um, took to Instagram again because, again, I saw nothing wrong with it. People had problems before, so um, they post them on there, so I thought, I'll post it on there. So I asked them, like, it's been like a month since I um, push, put my order down. Like, can you give me a status update on my plugs? The social media girl got on the Instagram and flipped out on me. She was like, don't ever um, 
put messages on this again. This is the show so me site. Like you should know this. I had no idea you couldn't put like your inquiries about your orders on their Instagram. Like I didn't know, and I don't think she should have replied that way. So I emailed again and told them what happened and. The lady said, like, what the social media girl did was justified, and, like, I should have known this. I didn't know. Like, I I didn't know I wasn't supposed to put problems in my orders on their Instagram. I didn't know. Like, it was just so horrible. Like, the customer service sucked. Like, I didn't need to be told by this social media girl who was just a random girl on Instagram. It looked like that I was, I shouldn't have done that, and, like, I don't know. Like, it was really bad customer service and it was horrible like a month and a half later I get my plugs like that's ridiculous like oh and also on Instagram the next day I looked to see if my comment was still there they took down my comments and they took down other people's negative comments like I think if you have negative comments mixed with good comments, you should leave them up there because it lets, like, other buyers know. Like, even if it's a social media site, it lets other people know, like, what kind of company they're dealing with. If they want to deal with the company, whatever. Like, don't delete my comments. That's really fishy and weird to me. And they just deleted them, and I called them on that, and they just didn't say anything about it. They told me that I needed to take... Um, into consideration what they do all day in my personality and I was just like flabbergasted like I'm the nicest person like I'm so nice like I give everything the benefit of the doubt everyone the benefit of the doubt I love people like I love everyone and like to be treated like that when I'm like I told them I'm the consumer here like you should treat your consumers like royalty they're the ones that buy the product they're the ones like and I am a major in communication, so I know this. And it's just like, why would you treat your customer like that? Like, that's awful. And, like, after all this, after a month and a half, they finally sent me my plugs. And, like, they're okay. They're not great. Not for, like, $25, $30. No. Like, no. They didn't give me anything extra. Like, or even a notice that said, sorry about your um, order. Like, I at least expected a note in there that said, sorry about your long wait, but nothing, like, and on their page, they, like, promised you, like, a box, like, this is what I got in the mail with the plugs just inside of it, not even in two packages in that one package, like, no, so overall, Plug Club was a very bad experience, like, horrible customer service, like, the girl that answers the email, she was very nice, very polite, until she told me that I that the social media girl was justified and that I should take into consideration their feelings, they should really take into consideration the consumer's feelings because that's the most important part of the company. It keeps the company running. Everything. So if you ever order from Plug Club, beware. It'd be very, like, like it's, I don't know. I will never order from them. I told her that, like, but anyway... I had a good experience with my other plug order from Crazy Factory, so that's good. So if you do want to order, <laughs> I'll put the link below like I did with Crazy Factory. But again, I highly um, suggest against it. Maybe there are people that have good experiences from dealing with them. I don't know. I just had a really horrible one, and yeah, they just seem really fishy to me and really like bitchy I guess like the social media girl was really bitchy not like the actual email girl but I don't think any customer should be treated like that so that was my review and thanks for watching I hope you have a good day bye